I knew that God could heal, but I didn't think he would heal me. Out of everyone, I didn't think he wanted to do it for me. I served in the mission field in Guatemala for um, a month. Uh, after I came back from the field, from the mission field, I was I was worried about um, my health because I was not eating well in Guatemala. So I was like, I should go to the doctor just to check to see if everything is in order. So when I go to the doctor, they see that there's a hormone that is elevated in my blood work, which is called the prolactin hormone. And the doctor told me that there's it usually like it's elevated in people and there's nothing to worry about. And it's in one in a million chance that there's a brain tumor. So I was like, okay, it's all good, but we should still go in for an MRI just to check to see what's happening. So I went in for an MRI and um, it turns out that I actually did have a brain tumor. And I was like, okay, I trust in the Lord, like whatever he wants, he's not gonna let me die. And so as I was just waiting for appointments to open, I, could, I would call different doctors when no one would just, um, no one would give me any appointments. And then um, I serve as a missionary in uh, Mexico uh, every month. I go back and forth and um, I went back one, I was like, I'm gonna go back one last time. I'm gonna serve the Lord and I'm gonna, I'm gonna preach the word to people. So I go back to Mexico and as I was just uh, serving the people, we always go with the same group of doctors. But that month there was a new person. So I was like, oh, I wonder who this is. And it turned out that she was, she worked with a doctor who had just moved from, uh, who moved here from Johns Hopkins University. So I come back to Tucson and this uh, friend of mine, she's texting me and she's like, well, you know, I'm, a friends with the, I'm friends with him and I already got you an appointment. All you have to do is to go in because there was a last minute cancellation, they're open. And I go in and then the doctor tells me, it's all good, I'm not gonna lose my eyesight. And the initial, initially the doctor told me that I was gonna lose my eyesight and during this time I was having like vision issues. And so, but this new doctor told me that everything was going to be okay. He put me on a medication, um, bromocryptin, just to make sure that the tumor shrinks and the medication is specifically for the shrinkage of the tumor and um, and the medication had such adverse side effects I would sleep too much I couldn't eat I couldn't read the Bible and it was just terrible I couldn't walk I was always dizzy and eight months later I'm I go back to the doctor they do blood work again and they tell me that um, the hormone is still elevated even more than before that the medication had no effect and it wasn't really working I was crying and stuff but I I was like, I'm gonna trust the Lord. I know what he's capable of doing. I go to Phoenix, um, to Mesa, to Two Rivers Church for a prayer room, and they pray over me. My whole family prays over me. I knew that God could heal, but I didn't think he would heal me. Out of everyone, I didn't think he wanted to do it for me. A day later, I go to the MRI, and I was just so sad, and I felt so distant from God, and I just could not feel his presence that whole day, and it was just such heaviness on my spirit. And then the next day I woke up and I felt like something had just changed. And I looked on my phone and my email and it showed that their MRI results were done. And I click on it and then it said that there was nothing there. And I was just praising and worshiping the Lord. Just, he does such a big miracle in my life and he's capable of doing that in everyone else's life. He's not a man that he should lie. So every promise in the Bible is for every single kid that the Lord has, every single child of God. We should always stand on those promises and trust that He will do what He has said He's going to do.